All right. Now, no question for the presentation part, and I can go to the tiles. Well, uh, as an old traditional CPM tool, tile is also using the template. So the template can be created according to your need. So uh, the template can be the res already resource loaded, the cost loaded, the displays, and already given the information about the distance. It's up to you how you would like to have your template. So in my case, I'm just creating the new project and I took the general template and my general template, I already have the, my resources and cost and time library information. And I will just set this is the demo. Project name is demo. I can choose different unit uh, type. Later on, all this information can be changed. So it's up, it's up to you for now. You can just create, I'll just give information the start and end distance, the start date and end date. It can be the calendar, multiple calendar support for, it can be it's supported. I'll just create a simple view. And what we can see here, so you see this is the paper. So whatever, just uh, think about the title that this is the paper base and you can just take a pen and draw your activity or your pre project right on the paper, for instance. We have our start, let's say from the zero, and we have at the end four kilometers, all right? So now I'm planning with uh, just inserting one task. I have here my template called the topsoil stripping, and I'm uh, planning my task. Okay, so I just draw my task. Well, my task has already predefined information, such as I have this display, and I have the information about the uh, quantity oh, right now I don't have a quantity but later on I will input it very easily now before this what I would like to is explain it this is our main area where our project will take the place but where all the data is stored the tiles is a file based system and all the information you have is in one file so this is for instance the demo that as HSP, this is the file, and all information is stored right over there. You don't need to have any different other files. And everything is on the Tiles Explorer. So, for instance, I have my uh, different views, the gun chart, traditional gun chart, for instance, a time distance diagram. I can have my task list. You can see this is same as an Excel. You can have the ID, the uh, work breakdown structure, the calendar information start, and and so on. Everything you can have it, and it's also uh, possible to edit it. All right. So moreover, if you have some resource, you can have the resource list, all the list over here, and it can be copy paste or it's, it's up to you how you would like to see. It. All right. Moreover, on the library part, please. Pay attention, this is our library part. On the library part, we have the information about my tasks, about the resources. If I open the resource, I have my predefined resources, which are coming from the template. You can create your easily new uh, resource or sub-resource. You can edit it, you can uh, change the account, change the unit cost. So this is very easy and manageable to do. Assigning the resource is also possible, just selecting the task and adding the resource. For instance, I can have here the one specialist and one caterpillar, and you can see my resource has been assigned to the task. Moreover, uh, graphical information, for instance, possible to see we have here different symbols which we'll use for the graphical representation of the project and other information, currency, units, categories, sector types, and so on. So, what we can do more? I'll just, just show you the example how and what we can do. In this case, I'll just let me remove my resource and I will set the quantity. So, as I was mentioning before, the Thales has a different type of the calculation model. We can calculate according to the quantity according to the work rate or according to the duration. Let me show you how we, I can 
calculate according to the duration, I will give the quantity, which is let's say cubic meters, and what it gives me, what kind of information it gives me. Now, we have 20,000 cubic meters of the total amount uh, to be stripped. But my planned work rate is only 120 cubic meters per hour. So, Tylus automatically calculates what is my duration. Okay? So, what if I will increase my work rate and it, uh, I would like to know what will be my duration then? I will change my work rate, for instance, to 240 cubic meters per hour. And please pay attention, my duration has been changed. This is on more properties bar. You can have a detailed information. However, if you want to have a quick access and a quick view, just look on the top. We have the name of the activity, the start date, the start hour, the end date, and the duration, as well as the uh, length information and the distance information, too. So, I'll just go back to this, my planned work rate. Okay, now another very good example I would like to show is the splitting. Like when you have your, when your activity is the quantity loaded, so sometimes you have to stop your work or just to uh, split your activity, how we can do it in Tylus. And if in traditional CPM we are doing all manually, like we once we split it, our task and we have to calculate the approximate the duration of it and then to uh, calculate the quantity of it. Here in, in Tylus we don't need to do this because it does, it does automatically. So we can split the task, different method available in the task, but in my case let me show you. I will split it on 1,000 to 1,500 meters. Okay, I'm splitting my task by the distance on 1,500 meters. So please see, my task has been splitted, okay? My task has been splitted, and the quantity automatically has been splitted as well. So from 1,500 meters until the 4,000 meters, my amount is 12,500 cubic meters. But the rest part, I have 7,500 cubic meters. All right, so this is how you can understand the Tylus. Uh, once again, I'm repeating, you are able to uh, manage your crew movement. For instance, from 1,500 meters, you are starting the, the work, and you can see that your crew will be working on this side, okay? And it will take them eight days, for instance. But if you would like to finish all the total works in a shorter period, you can, for instance, uh, change the direction of it, manage according to this, or for instance, to link it automatically, and then reschedule it, and you will have everything right here. The linking options also I would like to mention, which is very powerful in Tylus, like we can have by the calendar time, by the working time of the predecessor, the percentage of the duration of the, of the predecessor, you know, what is the percentage? If the predecessor has reached some of the percentage, then your successor can start. Equipment mobilization, you can give the mobilization of the equipment, you can give the fixed uh, some speed, okay? So it will calculate your lag automatically. Also, distance to successors, which I was mentioning that two uh, activities for instance, um, they cannot be clo work closer than assuming by the 100 meters or 200 meters. Or also give the additional time like for that. Or, for instance, the predecessor is at. When the predecessor is reaching some part, some distance, then we can start our another activities. All right? So this is the example of how we can create the task. This is the linear task I can create easily uh, some structural task, let's say, oops, not this one, I just misclicked, let's say I have my bridge segment, so this is also the task, you can change the display of it, you can define uh, any color if you want, it's up to you how you will have it, 
it can be for instance the rectangle the parallelogram rectangles the lines and triangle for instance it's up to you how you would like to see it all right the task can be moved very easily so it can be copy and paste by the control C and the control V options like you can manipulate with the task however you want all right I will just delete them and okay this is about the basics about the basic that you have to know in order how to read the tiles now if we go to the more for another example please see I have my tiles this is a sample project what I can have I can see here on the bottom I have my the profile information the land high the rail high all right I can have here my elevation profile, the amount to be cut, the amount to be the place, the amount to be filled. This is all values and you can export the data to the clipboard or uh, any other place. The histogram, such as the cutting and filling histograms, you can see this. This is, I think, the each 500 meters. Yeah, this is the display the information. Each 500 meters, you can display information. Each 100 or any other scale. Okay. Also, the filling information, graphical representation, symbolic representation of our uh, work of our project. Sorry. Now, the information about my kilometer, the meters in kilometer, or my station point. So it can be the districts, for instance, or it can be the different sections as well. My milestone activities. So, on. so now. Uh, one thing that I would like to mention is, remember uh, on the presentation part, we had the topic why we had the two breakdowns. Now, this is the subject of it that we have here my activity, which is soil removal. And the information, like it's not it's just linear, it has some shape. So once I move my activity, so it becomes a different shape why I have it because it's getting the information from my profile data which means right from above okay so right on above I will shorten this task and you can see how it changes also the please pay attention on the quantity information this changes on the quantity level as well all right so this is a very powerful tool for us to in order to calculate the real duration of our activity. And here we have that it will take us 24 days. Now, moreover, I would like to show you the information about the resources. This is the preloaded resources on activities, the labor information, the labor hours, total machine hours, cost and income, and the cash flow diagram as well. So that was on the time axis. However, please see, I have the same information, but according to my distance. All right. So I have a machine operator, the specialist. So on the number of the resource over here, the histograms, such as on the distance from, this is the 500 meters. And we have the total people working and total machine working numbers. And also the cost and income according to the distance. Okay, so now the more, uh, let's say, specific top topic is for the, the for the tunnel building. This is just an example for you. We have 550 uh, meters of the tunnel, which will be working with uh, uh, TBM. We have our uh, planet soil classification, or for instance, let me just remove it now, for now what we can see here we have a standard traditional uh, not sorry, standard time distance diagram we have our profile so this will be our tunnel okay and now we would like to plan so I would like to plan first my TBM so I'm planning I will start somewhere in uh, August and I have my plan so now I planned my TBM, so work 
if this is my TBM, this is a plan. And this is usually when you are planning and submitting all the tenders. So you have a plan. Now you receive, later on, you receive the information about the soil. So you have the planet soil classification. So what you can do is you can um, plan according to the given soil classification. So you have from 0 meters until 75 meters, you have this K61, right? From 75 meters until the uh, 150 meters, you have K64A type. Okay, let me just make it shorter. And now, once we have information from the planet soil classification, I can plan my works according to this data. All right. So what we can do is I have my planet, and I'm starting the same time. And now, please pay attention. Okay, I'll move it. I'll make it a bit visible. So please pay attention that the uh, work rate has been changed according to the soil type. Okay, once we reach the area where we have, for instance, 250 meters or 150 meters, it has a different work rate. Okay, so I'm going down, down, I'm moving. And you can see that with given uh, plant, for instance, soil classification, we can say that will be in delay for a few months. So, and you can see that the calculated finish date is this. This is the based on the owner soil classification. Once you started the work, now once you start the work, you did the geological uh, test, and you have a different, a bit different soil classification. So this is the uh, this is the, the panel where you have the actual soil classification. So you see, as I said, for instance, from 0 until 75, you have this type, K61 type of the soil. However, when you do the actual, you think that K61 was from 0 until 50 meters. And from 50 meters until 180 meters, you have K64A. All right, so this is a different. So what you will do in this case, you will give the actual soil classification and how it will look like, you see, you can say that your, according to your actual information, you will have a different work rate and a different, different work rate. So what does it mean is if we plan, this is our initial plan, okay, we were about to finish this time. However, when we receive the information from the owner about the soil classification, we can have a plan according to their soil classification, okay? But now when we do our, when we do actually the program, when you do our work, we can see that, sorry guys, but uh, your classification, soil classification is actually a bit wrong, but here is our so classification, and we can tell that we will finish on this date instead of this. So it's one month uh, later. We'll finish it one month later. All right. So is it clear? Okay. So now another good feature that I would like to show is the actual uh, export from Primavera. All right, here I have my uh, sample project. This is a metro. Okay, this is a metro project where I have the information about my tasks. And here I have the information, my distance and the and uh, the start distance and the end distance. So this is my standard task and information I added about the distance. So what I can do this is I can just export it as a primavera xml okay i'm exporting this as a primavera xml i will not do this in order to save the time i have already exported the xml file so what i will do is i'll here what i will do is i will just keep it over there and and right now let me explain you my template 
All right, this is a template where I have my tunnel information and I have my station. So this is the station, station name, different districts, the kilometer information, but without any activities. I have the empty time distance diagram. All right, I have my empty time distance diagram. Nothing is there, but this is my template. So what I will do in this case is I will just import it. I will take the information from Primavera. It is, by the way, possible to import from the uh, MS project and NASA Pro project. Probably I was mentioning this. However, it's good to remind. I will take the next. I will select uh, my XML. So this is my XML. Now, it gives us an opportunity to import which data we would like to import, whether we would like to take the tasks, the categories, the links, the resources, the cost information, or some sector profiles. What I will do is I have here my additional field mapping. So I'm mapping my information from the Tylus and information from the uh, Primavera. Okay? So once I click Finish, you will see that all my activity just appeared over here. So this is all my activity you can see. So this is the, uh, okay, so let's say this is a roof level, TBM sampling number one, TBM sampling number two. You have here the planet, the stairs, the backfilling activities and so on. This is the station works, all right? However, if I'll move to my, uh, Task. So here are my linear tasks. Okay. So this is my linear task. So everything what you can have in uh, Primavera, it's possible to export to Tylus as well. Okay. Uh, I hope it's very it's understandable and everything is fine. Now, uh, now it's a time for the question and answer sections. I have around two or three minutes, so I'll try to exp uh, answer your questions uh, really fast. Otherwise, please write us the email. All right. So, uh. Mr. Uday asked the question whether it's possible uh, if if it's in Tylus is defined the major plant's capacities such as the asphalt plant or the crashing plant etc. Yes, of course it is possible to define them. This is the information. For instance, if I will go um, to the distance axis and the distance profile, so you can see. This is all information which would I have on my Tylus Explorer. I can import the number of the information. It's up to you which information you would like to import, whether it's from the Excel or from the clipboard. It's up to you how you would like and which information you would like to display on the Tylus. Okay. Um, Mr. Kapila asked, uh, the question, being a junior engineer, how do I convince my boss or the site project director to use it? Well, ask them the simple question, uh, do they have the time distance scheduling or they're using only the traditional CPM? If they do the time distance scheduling, they can do it on the Excel, but it will take them the ages. So why you have to spend that much time and do it everything manually uh, on uh, Excel when you have the Tylus. Okay, moreover, uh, let me see. Uh, Jacob, Mr. Jacob asked me the question, whether there is an update file exist in Tylus uh, similar to the one in Primavera while importing so that it, it doesn't need to have to change the graphical representation of the activities every time. Yes, you are, update, you are uh, updating the file. Once you, for instance, you did your uh, data date, you complete, you entered the progress on the uh, traditional CPN on Primavera, and you the same way you are just exporting it and importing to the 
uh, tiles. All right, so no problem with it. It has an update file, so you don't need to do everything new and uh, lose any uh, graphical representation of activity. Okay, Mr. Anand asked kindly to send our contact details and the recording. Of course, we will send. Okay, so. Okay, uh, Mr. Uday, once again, uh, another question we had from Mr. Uday. What is the maximum length we can plan in TILUS? Well, it's up to you. It's unlimited, I can say. Okay, Jacob, Mr. Jacob asked the question whether the filters can be used. He, want, he, he would like to see the, whether if, one, if it's possible to display only one activity. Yes, it's possible to display only one activity, then multiple number of the filters, the options can be here. For instance, I can have the different the tasks. Here I have my filter options, all right? So it can be filtered according some different parameters, according to the calendar uh, name, the category, if, for the clash, if you have any some task with the clash, you can just filter them in order to see. No need to go for the each activity. For the uh, constraint, whether you have a critical pass, you can filter from the critical pass by the task name. For instance, I can have here the uh, task template. All right, the task template, and I will show some architectural works. So you can see, I just used my filter for architectural works and you can see only the architectural works has been displayed. So why why when why uh, um, I was telling that the tiles is a, uh, you have to assume you have to understand this as a paper view. So whatever you would like for instance if you would like to draw only uh, the one activity all right on the one activity in order to see it whether what is the progress of it or what is the information of it it is possible to create a new view, right? So you can create the new view. You can have a create a new view. I will just write a demo. I can create a new view, add a different uh, rows, different uh, columns. Okay, so this is up to you how you would like to display. First might be, this might be the time distance diagram. For instance, I will make it as a, um, time distance diagram okay so this is the time distance diagram this is my uh, gun chart traditional gun chart time okay this one will be my distance gun chart this is my distance gun chart on the left side you can have a dashboard reporting for instance I can even uh, I can glue this cell. So this is the paper. This assumed the paper. Whatever uh, information you would like to see, you can have it. No problem with it. So I can have this one is my uh, dashboard. So you see, this is my dashboard information. So how you would like to see, it's up to you. Now let me continue with the uh, questions. Okay. Uh, Mr. Vatva asked, R and S curve is possible. Yes, the S curve is possible. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have them already prepared. Yep, right here, for instance, this is my S curve. I can uh, have a display, a different view on it. I, I can show the, uh, okay, the fill array underline. It's fine, for instance line and I can change the line style okay so here my the S curve it is possible to have the S curve as well okay uh, Mr. Verender asked that okay, he has around 3000 activities in primavera schedule no problem you can have them as well or you too you will have even less in uh, tiles Okay, okay. Okay, Mr. Uday asked, is it necessary to have a profile data in Excel or in AutoCAD file? Uh, well, it cannot import the data from the AutoCAD directly, so you have to first export to the Excel and then import to the 
tiles. Okay, uh, another question we had that all libraries shown today are available as a standard. Yes, this is available on the standards. So moreover, uh, I can show you another thing is another, uh, let's say, sample project from the real project, railway project. This is the Union Railway project, all these tasks we have here. You can see this. This is the real project, okay? It's the pr real project. Another option, what we can here. This is a Warsaw Metro. You can have here the uh, graphical representation. We have here the metro stations. These are the metro stations. We have the station works and we have the TBM works. All right, so all this we have. Okay, another question we had is, can we have a special calendar with the holidays or the special day offs? Of course, you can have the special calendars and you can display them in the uh, tiles, no problem with it. We have uh, a number of the calendars you can use for the, each activity different uh, calendar, okay? Here. Here you have a, you can have a different calendar for each activity or it is possible to, to have a layer. Okay, uh, I had a question from Mr. Brander. He has around, yes, 3,000 activities in primary and when he will start updating and comparing plan with actual will be difficult. How to handle? Well, once you once you have your baseline, you export it to the tiles and you save here on tiles as a baseline. All right, you have here the baseline manager and you can have the multiple uh, baseline information. And later on, you will just create you will just import once you enter the progress on your traditional CPM or whatever tool you are using. You can just import the tiles and compare it. Okay, all right. So let me go on with the questions. Uh, okay. We had a question whether it's a standalone, uh, okay, whether the Tiles is a standalone or the web based. The Tiles is, has uh, three possibilities. It has a standalone version, it's usually standalone. However, we also have a USB stick, which means as your Tiles and your pro and your license are on your USB sticks and you can you can give it to whoever you want or who is working on it and he, he will just plug in this USB and open the Tiles and work on it. Uh, another question uh, about the rates changing with fiscal year. Well, the rates are the this is the the planner who is defining the years. The tiles only get the information which you enter. So if you enter some different information, different rates, so it will give you the plan according to this. So whatever it is you have, you can show it. Is it compatible with any version of the primary? Yes, it is compatible with any version. Okay, uh, we had al already this question regarding the uh, filtering. Yes, we can filter the activities, no problem. Can we have a customized view as per responsibilities? Yes, you can have the customized view, no problem. I even will show you some of the uh, examples, okay? Examples, let me just, here, I have my, this is the sound sample project. So you can see what I have here. I have here my view. This is my view. Below I have defined my districts, the land cover, whether I have a road crossing, the water uh, water crossing, the railway crossings, all right? And let me go above, okay? And here we have the total information. This is the all for my old works, the total information, the progress information. 
And below, we have the activity. So this is the activity for only one. Let's say this activity name is clear and grabbing activity. So this part is only for the clear and grabbing. So you are just filtering and displaying only the information which related to this activity. All right, so you have the uh, actual, the planet, the quantity, and so on. Okay, well, okay, can we define the different rates for different timelines for, for the resource? Yes, it is possible. Uh, you can uh, give the different rates on a, or a different timeline. For instance, if you have, if your uh, project, let me show you another sample where you will understand what I mean. There is a possibility to plan according the different work rate. So, okay, um, assuming that I have my task, okay, I have my excavation task, please note that during the November, so list of that and March, this is the Polish name of the months, so sorry for this, uh, we have the winter period. In our winter period, we have of course, the different will have a different work rate. However, initially we plan our task, and our task with the work rate is 500 uh, cubic meters per day. But what we can do is we can uh, create the, we can uh, plan according to the our information that we will have the our work rate will drop down for instance if we were planning for with 500 cubic meters so now my plan is 420 what we did not consider is our um, winter time period in that case what we can do is we can have the recovery what does it mean recovery is when you know that during the winter time your 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 uh, productivity rate will drop down first you increase in the beginning you increase your work rate so now you can see i have my work rate with the, instead of the 500 i have a 600 okay i have a 600 so if i have it here by this time i can catch or even finish my activity much faster so in this case the, your recovery line reached a different distance because your work rate because of the higher work rate and you drop down you, uh, during the winter time your work rate drops down and then you are catching the even the finishing your baseline all right so uh, let me continue with the question Okay, uh, we had a question whether we can show, uh, can we show the activities that is not related with the ex execution and cannot be shown in a specific project location, such as design, procurement, approval, etc. Of course, it is possible to be shown, for instance, you can have one task, let me just create for you the one task and, sh and write it over here, and I can give this is my rectangle I will hide the line and I will name it and then I will add some text on it and I will write that this is a design or for instance procurement okay so this is the procurement part so this time will take us the procurement, for instance. It is also possible. It is also possible in this way display the delays. So it can be the design delay or the procurement delay. And when you will have the question why we have the delay on this uh, specific area or on specific task, why our activities not start, you can easily print out this view and give them to say that, you see, this is the procurement delay or the design delay. It is possible to have it. And if this one is, well, cannot have any sense to your project. Okay, uh, another question we had, that, uh, can multiple person can work on update their uh, respective activities on the same project at a different machine? Well, nope. Uh, actually, for now, the enterprise model is not active. However, the developers are working on it. But what you can do is, for instance, if you have a project, you can divide it into two sub-projects, and later on, the first person can uh, 
uh, update respective uh, activities on the one and the second um, person can update on the different one and then you will have a one a master plan okay one master plan and just combine them here we have a sub project okay so you can combine all the two schedules together with it in order to have it as a one project it is possible okay well I think I answered most of the uh, questions okay the Mr. Farid asked, will it produce the same S-curve as uh, uh, P6? It will produce any S-curve as you would like to have it. No problem with it. Okay, uh, Mr. Shirang asked me the question whether we can make this available, uh, make this data available online for other users. So if you would like to share this uh, video, no problem, you can uh, share it. But if you are speaking about whether the sharing data of the project itself, yes, you can share it. You, as, as I said, you can, all right, yes, as I was expecting the project data, yes, you can share it, no problem. This is the file based, so this is the file based. If I'll have just uh, I will save it to my desktop, all right, I'll save it to my desktop, I will show it over here, and where is my, here is my demo, so you can, no problem, share it with anyone else, but of course, please put it on an archive, and we will zip it, and then send it, it will be much better. All right, thank you very much. If you will have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, we are here for you. So, uh, thank you very much. And have a good day.